Oscar Woodhouse of Wellington on the inside, Jasper McKinnon, Glenn Huntley, Jack Hopkinson, Tyler Hughes of Mornington, Babama Gunnelin of Essendon, Ollie, Matthew, uh, Ollie Mayhew Sharp of Mornington, Pete Nikofsky and Jack Field of Ringwood. Eight starters. Thanks, runners. On your mark. So away we are. No clock again. So it's Glenn Huntley's Jasper McKinnon there with an aggressive start. Ollie May, who's sharp there in the Mornington colours. Moving his way across. Plus for Barma Gunnelin of Essendon. So a few prominent juniors early here. So it is Essendon's Gunnelin. Young 14 year old with a seed time of 2.22. Is it a pace at the moment? It's going to be well inside that. Really strong start. Sitting in third there now is Pete Nikofsky. Jasper McKinnon moving up nicely there into fifth. So Nikoski's going to be the one that's going to try and run down Gunnelin. So 66-67 at the bell. So 222 well and truly on the cards here for these. Boys out in front. Nikoski goes for it at 200. So Pete Nikoski at 2.30 seed time. It's going to be well inside that. The challenges now follow. 1.25 to go. Goodall in the early leaders, not giving it up yet. One of our Mornington juniors there has just moved himself into third. Now the challenge to Nikoski comes on the outside. Strong, tall, upright in run there. And it is going to be Jack Hopkinson who takes out heat number two. Great running there. 220 unofficially. Jasper McKinnon through next. Ollie May, who's sharp. Ringwood's Jack Field. And then Oscar Woodhouse of Wellington. Hey, that was event two, men's J800.